Hello everyone! Today is a new day, new life, new beginning, and new lesson. So our lesson for today is about properties of chord. Pag sinabi natin chord, ito yung line segment that joins two points on a curve. And in geometry, a chord is often used in describing a line segment joining two endpoints that lie on a circle. Okay, so we have five properties of chords. First example, in a circle whose radius is 30 cm, a chord is 16 cm from the center. How long is the chord? Okay, so kailangan muna natin gumawa or illustrate ang problem. So gagawa muna tayo ng center of a circle. And then, gagawa tayo ng radius. Pinin natin ito ang radius niya. Ayan. Pag sinabi nating radius, line segment from the center to any point of the circuit. So, that is 30 cm. Tapos, a chord is 16 cm from the center. So, gagawa tayo ng chord. Ito. Line na to. Tapos, ang measurement daw niyan... From the center is 16 centimeter. Okay? So, ito yung chord na kung saan kukunin natin ang length. So, according to the properties, one of the properties, ang center point hanggang sa chord ay perpendicular. Pag perpendicular, nakaform tayo ng 90 degrees dito. At, na bisect niya, ang line na to, na bisect niya ang chord. Pag sinabing na bisect, nahati ang chord na to equally. Okay? Pareho. So, etong line na to, from here to here, ay pareho sila sa line na to, from here to here. Okay? Tandaan niyo yan. So, kung nagkaroon na tayo ng right triangle dito, kasi this is 90 degrees angle, then, magagamit na natin ang Pythagorean Theorem para makuha natin ang measurement ng base na to. Okay? So, ang Pythagorean Theorem, formula ay C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, ang C natin dito ay yung hypot hypotenuse, yung radius, which is the longest side of the triangle. Ang A natin, it's either ito, or ito, yung dalawang legs ng uh, triangle, it's either A or B. So, sabihin na lang natin na ang A natin ay yung height at ang base ay yung B. Okay? So, paano natin kukunin yon So, copy si C squared, ililipat natin si A squared sa kabila. So, magiging minus na siya. A squared is equal to B squared. Ito na ang magiging formula natin. Okay? Next, Substitute 30 ang C squared minus A 16 squared is equal to B squared. 30 squared means 30 times 30, we have 900. And 16 squared means 16 times 16, we have 256 is equal to B squared. 900 minus 256, we have 644 is equal to B squared. And then ang 644 mag tayo ng factor na pwedeng perfect uh, square ang isa. So, we have six, uh, 161 times 4. Ayan. is equal to b squared. Ang 4, pwede natin siyang isulat in exponential form, which is 2 squared or 2 times 2 times 161 is equal to b squared. Square both sides. So, tanggal na yan. At saka ito. So, ilabas natin si 2 maiiwan sa loob ng radical sign ang 161. And then, tanggal na yan, natira na lang si B. So, ito na ang measurement ng side na to. Itong side lang na to. From here to here. So, this is 2 square root 161. Pero, ang kailangan nating kunin ay from here to here. 
So, anong gagawin natin? Ang measurement dito ay pareho lang dito. So, i-multiply natin by 2. So, 2 is square root of 161 times 2 is equal to 2 times 2, 4. And then, simply copy square root of 161. Okay? So, ang ating final answer is 4 is square root of 161 centimeter. Nakuha? So, this is for our sample number 1. How about example number 2? Let's read. Find the length of the cord of a circle with a radius of 13 cm, which is at the distance of 5 cm from the center. So, ulit, gagawa tayo ng uh, circle. So, ito na siya. And then, ang radius daw ay 13 cm. Let's do the same na lang. Ito siya. So, ito daw ay 13 cm. So, meron tayong cord dito na ang distance niya from the center is 5 cm. So, gagawa tayo ng straight line from there. This is 5 cm. So, nakabuo tayo ulit ng perpendicular line. Pag sinabi natin perpendicular, it forms 90 degrees angle. Okay? So, since it forms perpendicular line, then this one, itong line na to, na bisect niya ang cord na to, ibig sabihin ng bisect, nahati siya ng dalawa equally. So, from here to here, this line is the same with this line from here to here. Okay? Again, we will use Pythagorean Theorem. So, gamitin na lang natin ito. Okay? Kasi pareho lang naman ang kukunin natin. So, C squared minus A squared is equal to B squared. Substitute, 13 squared minus 5 squared is equal to B squared. 13 squared is 169 minus 5 times 5, 25 is equal to B squared. So, 169 is... Minus 25 is 144 is equal to B squared. 144 is 12 squared is equal to B squared. So, square root natin both sides. Tanggal, tanggal na. So, paano naging 12 squared si 144? Ang ibig sabihin ng 12 squared is 12 times 12. Pareho lang sa 144. Bakit natin to ginawa? Para makancel natin yung square at saka radical. Side. Okay? So, ang natira ngayon ay C, B, at saka C, 12. Therefore, ang B natin ay 12. Ibig sabihin, from here to here is 12. Since we have 2, ang kukunin natin ay from here to here, from mula dito hanggang dito, so times 2 natin. 12 times 2, so 12 times 2, so we have 20 4 cm. So, ito na ang ating final answer. Okay? Okay, so last but not the least, our number 3 example. In, tri in circle A, so this is circle A, we have diameter DE. So, may diameter daw tayong DE. So, this is D, this is E. And then, we have BD is equal to 8. So, meron tayong line dito or cord. And then, we have straight line here. And this is C and this is B. This is right triangle. So, ang DB ay 8 cm. And then, we're looking for BC. What is the measurement from here to here? So, this is unknown. And, of course, D is 20. Since D is 20, then this one is 10 cm. And this one is 10 cm. Why? Kasi... Radius plus radius is equal to diameter. So, 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. 
Okay? So, we can solve this one kapag nakuha na natin ito by using Pythagorean theorem. So, the same step, c squared minus a squared is equal to b squared. c natin is 10 cm, which is the radius. Minus a natin is 8. Squared is equal to b squared. 100 minus 8 times 8, 64 is equal to b squared. 100 minus 64 is equal to 36 minus uh, is equal to b squared. Ang 36, pwede natin siyang isulat in exponential form. 6 times 6 or 6 squared is equal to b squared. Then, square both sides. Sa so, tanggal na yan, ang b natin ay equal to 6. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, from here to here, or from B, A, B, B to A is equal to 6 cm. Kung 6 cm yan, ano ito? Okay? So, from AC, that is radius. Okay? So, AC is equal to AB plus BC. Remember na ang AC natin ay radius pareho ng AD at saka AE. So, ang measurement ng AD ay 10. So, 10 is equal to AB is given, which is 6 plus BC. So, 10, ilipat natin si 6 sa kabila, magiging minus 6 is equal to BC. So, 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 cm is equal to BC. Therefore, ang BC natin ay 4 cm. So, this one is 4 cm. Okay? Okay, so ganyan lang ang pagkuha ng uh, sagot sa uh, ganitong sitwasyon. So, properties of chords, kailangan din natin ang Pythagorean theorem. Thank you guys. I hope you learned from this video and I hope that you enjoy watching. Keep safe and please subscribe. Bye!